that Don, will she submit to you? And, and the word goes on as we see that after this day, you will have no more say even over your own body. Mm -hmm. So she's going to say, she submit to your love and do it right. It's going to be yes in the morning. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, yes.
sickness or health. According to God's holy ordinance. I commit my love to you. People of God said amen. amen. Where are the rain? <laughs> no, they're all looking for the word.
of things that we're used to doing that must change because of your love for one another. And when we see, uh, I found out that it's hard moving sand piles. You really don't move sand piles. Uh, it's more expensive, but I do know that you can build castles with the sand. And so you're in the process of building a castle that can last mm -hmm. until someone decides no more. But I know it's going to be eternity that which will bring about life or death that will cause that. So when you come together and the same is born, you saying all that I am is not 50%. It's 100 on both sides. Mm -hmm. All that I am, all that I want to be, all is going to be because of this covenant mm -hmm. that's being made. And then the children from both sides is coming together. So in the process of time, this wonderful blend of a blended family that can come together. And I do know it's so. So now you can say and pour the same uh, with an understanding. Don will pour first because he's the head of the leader. Mm -hmm. You will pour on top of him mm -hmm. because you're laying the foundation. And after that, each child from both sides will come and will feel that the point that they submitted and given what they have to offer to make this covenant. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
family coming together from both sides of the family, being brought into one by this wonderful couple. Well, this is a, um, this is a good time because you can't become one without sealing it in the natural. <laughs> Are we going to see what you got going on? <laughs>
as compatible individuals to become one today. So Father, we pray the blessing over this marriage as they have exchanged, committed their vows, as they have given and received rings, as they poured the sand and taken communion. Father, we ask now that you would seal this intertwining with you and your presence. For we know a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. So Father, we thank you because everything that they've been through, everything that they've experienced has positioned them for this time to be able to be their best selves for one another and now be their best selves together. So today, Father, bless the work of their hand. Bless this union. Thank you, Father, that you will give them the love that outlasts the fence. Give them the love that helps them to forgive. Give them the love that stands the test of time. Give them the love, Father, that only you can give. Father, help them, not only as we pronounce them as husband and wife, but Lord, help them to be the husband and wife each other needs. Teach them the words of wisdom to speak healing and life and strength. And now, Father, we thank you because they've already seen success. But through this union, we thank you that even greater favor will rest upon them. We thank you that even a new grace will rest upon them for business, for, for ministry. Father, we thank you that your presence rests on them today. So, Lord, today we bind anything that's not you. Oh, yes. We come against any power of darkness that we want to target what you have joined together. Yes, and we decree and declare that they will be a union, that even will be an example for others. Yes. And today we thank you because you seal it with your spirit. And we thank you, Father, that as we on earth rejoice, heaven now rejoices with them as we seal this union. And we thank you. And as they now are husband and wife, we mm -hmm. thank you, Father, that you are with me. And we thank you that your presence is seals it now. In Jesus' name, we declare to be so. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. As we get ready to present to you this new couple, why is it that the bride takes on the name of her husband? She better break it down. After Jesus died, and the Father gave him a name. That's above everything. Mm. And it says, whatever you ask, even desire, ask in my name. Mm -hmm. So because God represents Christ, mm -hmm. you take his name. Mm. And his name has pretty good weight to it. Mm. <laughs> his name. Yes. So I present to you today, mm. Mr. and Mrs. Don and Teresa Jackson.
Thank you.